Hello everyone and welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. If you're new here, my name is Claire, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite kid core custom designs. As usual, I will have each design numbered in the top left hand corner and then the code will be in the description beside that number. And I'll also have the codes on screen as well, so if you want to pause the video and grab them that way, you can do that as well. If you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to see more of them, please like, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff so I know that you do want to see more of these. But anyway, with all that being said, let's jump straight into the codes. So first up, we're taking a look at some pats. The first one is this sprinkle pat, and as you can see, the creator has multiple colours of this. Today, I've decided to lay out a small section of the pink one just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Second, we have this shapes pat. So if you have more of a natural island, this would be perfect, but it still has a pop of colour. I love this one. I think it's really cute. The next one is this alphabet soup path. This one would honestly probably look better just in patches around your island, but I laid it out in a patch just to make it easier for the video and you could see what it looked like. The next path is this candy path. As you can see, this creator also have this in two different colors. I've laid out the pink one for the video. This just really reminded me of Wreck-It Ralph. I thought it was really cool. The next one is this sprinkle pat, also comes in a lot of different colours and the creator has one version for over the in-game pats and one for just by itself as well. Next we have this cork board pat that has different designs on each square and just looks really cute. This next pot is very similar, it's a chalkboard version with different chalk designs throughout it. Now we have a Lego pot and as you can see this creator has some really nice signs as well and this is what the Lego pot looks like in game. Next we have this Sanrio path and this comes in different pieces that you mix and match and I've laid it out in game like this. You could also just use these as individual tiles throughout your island as well. Next we have this crayon path and this one would probably look best as just a single tile path but I've just laid it out as a, a new square path alternating the colours for the sake of the video. Next we have these Sanrio brick paths. I thought these were so amazing and I've just laid out two of them for this video to give you an idea. This creator has a variety of different coloured brick pots. I've laid out the rainbow one for this video but I highly recommend checking out their other pots as well. Now we have this rainbow plank and when I seen a picture of this it was used on a land bridge and it looked amazing so I've just laid it out in a straight line for the video. Next are these colourful tiles. I've just placed one of these so you can see what they look like but they're all super pretty and will match any colour team you have on your Kid Core Island. And lastly we have a pat border. This one comes in two different colour palettes and I've just laid one of them out over an in-game dort pot for the video. Next up we're going to be taking a look at some ground designs or one tile designs. The fourth ones are this kid core train and hopscotch and this is what they look like. Next I'm showing you some buttons, these come in a lot of different colours and there's different types of buttons and then we have these colourful dinosaurs as well. Then we have these adorable duck designs. Next is some spilled strawberry milk and they come with other designs as well. Then we have spilled candy and some chalk designs as well and I've just laid these out beside each other. 
Now we have some kid cord tiles. This creator has a ton of really cool designs. You should really go and check them out. And then we have some gaming tiles as well. I wasn't too sure what to call these ones. Now this set is called a low key kid core. So if you have more of a natural color team, this would be perfect. Next, we're moving on to some simple panel designs. And the first one is these teddy shelves. Then we have some candy stands. and some Sanrio UFO catchers. The next tree I'm gonna show you are these post office designs. Some more teddy shells, this time in a darker color palette. And also these metal kid core panels. Lastly, I'm showing you these pastel bricks. They're what I have as the backdrop in the video and this is what they look like. Now we're moving on to some random patterns. First up, we have these kid core pillows. I thought these were so cute. I've just laid a few out for the video. And then next we have a picnic blanket as well. Now it's time to have a look at some umbrella designs. The first one is this bunny house. I thought this was so, so cute and original. And then we have some Sanrio TVs and houses as well. This is what they all look like in game. Now we're gonna have a look at some hedge standees and stalls. The first one being these Teletubby stands. Then we have this kid core school bus. Next, I'm showing you some stalls. We have this candy floss stall, an ice cream stall, and we also have this cute wooden paneled stall. Next, I'm showing you these ice cream vans. This design comes in three different colors. I've chosen to just lay out the green one for this video. And I had a couple of people ask me how you lay these out. So I've just left this section of the video in, in case anyone is curious. For the last section of this video, we're going to be taking a look at some clothes. The first designs is this froggy dress and a duck jean dress. This is what the duck jean dress looks like in game and I'll be showing you the froggy dress next. Next we have some different coloured overalls with animals on the front. I'm showing you the green and yellow one today with the bear on front. And then we have some overalls with different animals on them. I've decided to show you the bunny ones today, but the other ones are absolutely adorable as well. I highly recommend that you check them out. Next, we have this ducky raincoat, perfect for a rainy spring day. Next, we have this really colorful rainbow cardigan. and three different kid core themed hoodies. Lastly, for clothes, we have this rainbow dress and I'm also going to be showing you some face stickers as well that come with some ombre eyebrows. I've been showing you the pink ones today and this is what they look like. And that is everything for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this and found some designs that you want to use on your own island. If you did like this video, please give it a like, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. I would really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.